Um, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see the next year. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay tonight. Is that okay? Yeah. Is it a problem? Is it a problem? Oh, um, okay, I, yeah, I just, uh, I'll give you a call in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just, I'm just gonna stay tonight. I'll, I'll be home about 7.30. Okay. All right, I love you. Okay, bye. So you went for it? Yes. Not happy, but yeah. <laughs> you booked a uh, hotel room already? Hotel room's booked. Keys in my car. All right, see, I know y'all see this best me, bro. Like, it's actually hilarious. This is why I tell y'all to focus on becoming your best self so you don't ever have to go through what you see this man going through, bro. You will never have to go through this when you put in the work into yourself. This man got to deal with hearing his wife telling him that she's staying an extra shift while he's at home taking care of the kids, being the stay-at-home mother. She's at work getting her cheeks destroyed by the Tyrone that she probably told him not to worry about. And sometimes it doesn't even take for us men to be the ones going through it. Like I've even had women while I'm mad digging until she busts. Her mans is calling her and she's declining the calls. He keep on blowing up her phone. She declined the calls. And I'm like, dang, these chicks really scandalous out here. You even have female friends, even probably your sister, even probably your mother. That will reveal to you that some of these women out here will really be scandalous. They will have a man be their beta male orbiter while the man that she's telling not to worry about. While the man that she's sneaking around with is busting them cheeks open. They will have this bro and if you really don't put in the work into yourself, you will be on the other side of the ball. You don't want that to happen to you. You want to be the one on the phone where you clapping the cheeks and her man's is calling her asking where she at. What is she doing? Who's she with? This is why I tell y'all to focus on becoming your best self. Because when you procrastinate on your goals, when you just settle in for anything in life, you're gonna settle for a woman that's gonna treat you like this like you can clearly tell this is a lack of respect this man is recording just feeling like the man hearing this woman tell her husband that she's staying the extra shift just so they can go to a hotel and he can bust that down you know he feeling good even though she's a 50 year old sogmeister you know he's feeling good this man he don't care whatever he take he gonna bust it down just for his ego and you don't want to be the man that's on the phone doing the calling this is why I tell y'all, don't procrastinate on yourself. Don't take yourself for granted. Don't take your potential for granted. Get that body that you want. Get your bag up. Get your mental right. Become that man that you always want to be. Because don't be surprised out here when a woman cheats on you, a woman plays you, a woman wastes your time because you didn't want to value yourself enough for her to want to prioritize you. A woman would never think twice about doing a man like you wrong when you hold yourself to a king standard, when you hold yourself like a king, you taking care of yourself in every aspect in your life, a woman is gonna see this. She never gonna fix her lips to disrespect you. It's never gonna come across her mind to try and do you like this. Never try and disrespect your manhood like this. This man gotta stay at home, be a stay at home mother, taking care of the kids, putting them to sleep, having to hear all the crying, changing their diapers and stuff. While the wife is out there making the money to where she can say I'm staying the extra shift. When she just wants to get her legs spread behind her head like a bald eagle. I'm telling y'all, bro, you do not want to end up like this, bro. When you take care of yourself, you will be the one seeing it happen right in front of your eyes. You got the best leverage when the woman is the one who rather be the one cheating with you instead of cheating on you. Now, this could get you into bad situations, but you will have a lot of women who they will settle for the beta men, who will settle for the men that's actually just providing and doing things for them, but they really craving the dude who's not paying them any attention, who where she could just come to work and she over there playing games with the work boyfriend. She over there playing games with the dude that's actually at the gym. I'm telling y'all, you don't respect yourself. You're not getting your body right. You're not taking care of your body. You're going to end up getting played out here by these women. And this is not coming from a her standpoint. This is just the truth. Hypergamy is in their nature. So if they see that you're not taking care of yourself, you're not leveling up in your life, you're not bettering yourself, you're not striving towards your purpose, you're more focused on her, you're more focused on chasing after booty instead of chasing after that grind, instead of chasing after that man that you truly who are destined to be inside, you're going to see how she plays you, bro. I'm telling y'all, don't waste your time out here. This is why I tell y'all, watch who you give your commitment to. Watch who you allow to be a part of your team. Or you're going to go out like the Lakers. You're going to be like the Detroit Pistons out here. You just allow anybody to be on your team. They're going to come and sabotage everything you got going on. They're not going to help you win the championship. They're not going to help you get to the next level. They're not going to help you get to the next level. They're going to bring you down. They're going to suck all your energy, suck all your resources, suck all your attention and validation. 
and go to the dude who barely texts him back, who barely even talks to him, probably even go back to their ex because you didn't value yourself. Keep on grinding on yourself. If she can't see this, then she's not right for you. You gotta put the time into yourself. Nobody else is coming to do it for you. Nobody's gonna put food on your table. She not. So if you're more focused on her instead of focusing on the man that you truly can become, then she's gonna see this. And that's when she's gonna feel like she can treat you any kind of way. You don't value yourself. So she don't value you. If you don't respect yourself, how do you ever respect a woman or anybody to respect you? When you walking in, your body looking right. You looking handsome. You look like you got something going for yourself. People, they automatically gonna give you that respect. A woman is automatically going to give you that respect. Now, I'm not saying this can't happen to anyone because you see this happening to people like Tom Brady and all these people. But majority of the time, it's not even you because you don't have to worry about that if you focusing on your own thing. You focusing on getting to the next level in your own life. So she can choose whatever she want. She ain't gotta be a part of your program. She can go bounce on whoever else she want to. She can hop off your shit and see how long she can swim. But she doesn't have to be in your life. These people, they don't have to be in your life if they're willing to ever disrespect you like this. I'm telling y'all, bruh. You really gotta respect yourself. Stay on your grind. So you can be the one backshotting any woman you want to. So you can be the one bending over any woman you want to. She having flashbacks about you. She thinking about you digging her out 24 seven. She thinking about how you her Prince Charming. Because you dig until she bust. She busting all over you, cushion all over the place. That's the that's what a woman really wants. She don't want the dude who's just going to give up the commitment just like that. Here you go. Just give up the attention just like that. Here you go. Just doing anything for her. She doesn't want that dude. She wants the dude that values himself. The dude that keeps on going no matter what she wants to do in his life. He gonna win with or without her. I'm telling you, once you start giving your commitment to these women that you clearly tell don't deserve it, you're gonna watch how they play you like a fool. Don't be out here getting treated like the beta male orbiter. She doesn't want to follow your terms and conditions. She ain't got to be with you. She want to play games with you. She ain't got to be with you. She want to disrespect you, treat you any kind of way, disrespect your manhood. She ain't got to be with you, bro. I'm telling you, you don't want to be down the line, end up having a kid, get in the house in her name too, and end up having to go through a divorce. She take all your stuff. Now you end up homeless. You want to be in a long-term relationship. You with a girl, you think everything's so sweet. She going to show you why you can't put your trust in just anybody out here, bro. I'm telling you, you do not want to be on the other side of the ball. You got to be the man that she wants to cheat with, not the man that she wants to cheat on. The women, they're going to flock to you. They're going to be fans of you when you see the value in yourself. When you the leader, you the coach, you select where you want these people in your life. You select them where you want them on your roster. Not you just selling for anything. Just selling for being the boyfriend, the beta male orbiter. Selling for being the friend. Selling for being the husband. Any woman, bro, I don't even tolerate the games. It's like you would see the red flags from a mile away. You hear she got a boy best friend? Oop, X'd out. You hear her say, oh, I mostly got guy friends because girls are drama. Oh, exit out. You hear, oh, I don't, oh, my girlfriends, I always have issues with them. I always got problems with girls. Exit out. Especially if she talking about a girl trip. Don't let your girl be the one talking about she going to a girl trip to Miami. Or her girls want her to go on a trip. Because trust me, a woman will come back to her dude. Talking about some, oh, my friend Keisha, she cheated on her mans. And mind you, whole time she's snitching on herself. Because nowadays... These girls are so close to the 304s that it's birds of a feather flock together. You can't tell the real from the fake anymore because these girls are so close to each other. So that's how they really be scandalous out here. They go on the trip and then they come back and end up snitching on themselves. Then you find yourself looking like a goofy because she wants to go on a girl's trip. No, you, so you hear a girl's trip, exit out. I'm not letting no girl that's trying to be with me go on a girl's trip. A girl's trip for what? Yeah, you go ahead and go on your trip. While I'm over here busting another shorty down, I'm not finna be the one out here getting played and ending up like this dude on the phone. You could tell his wife probably go out to swinger parties, all types of things, while he stays at home working and taking care of the kids. You do not want to be in that situation, bro. You want to be the one traveling the world, doing things on your own terms, being with who you want to be with. Not you end up hearing your girl tell you that she's going on a girl's trip just so she can get training with her friends. You do not want to end up like this, bro. A woman, they will take any opportunity when they have the chance, especially when she sees the value in the man that she's actually going to cheat on you with. Bro, she will take that chance every time. I'm telling you, you do not want to be on the other side of the ball. Keep working on becoming your best self. Get your body right so you can have them looking at you. Just want to feel your strength. Want to get picked up by you. Take care of your handsome face. So when you go out, trust me, the first thing people notice is how your face is looking. When they see that you're attractive, they treat you a whole lot differently. 
These women, they will treat you a whole lot differently when they actually find you handsome. Do whatever you got to do to maximize your own self, to get that level 100 in your life so you don't ever have to deal with what these dudes got to deal with. Do not end up like these beta cupcake dudes out here. Keep putting in the work into yourself. RBO for life.